Hey guys, it's Gina with YA Fiction Freaks, and I am coming to you today uh, with a review of Fragile Eternity by Melissa Marr. Um, I got it finished, I think it was either, um, I think it was the beginning of this week. Today's Friday, Saturday, I think today's Saturday. Um, I think I got it finished on Monday or Tuesday, but I just um, got time to do the review. If you've seen my other reviews of the Wicked Lovely series, this is book three. Yes, book three. And I've loved them all, and I absolutely love this one. So, another five-star book. Um, five fairies out of five fairies. Um, this book is actually more of the... more of a direct sequel to Wicked Lovely. Um, Ink Exchange was kind of a companion book, which was book two in between Wicked Lovely and this one. Um, and I love this one. This one is actually more focused, <clears throat> at least to me, it's more focused about Seth and his journey and, um, with the fairies and, and, um, kind of what all happens with him and Ashling and, um, you do hear from definitely from Neil and Keenan, and it's just I, I love the book. I love um, I've said this before. Melissa Mars writing. I love how she describes what, how her characters are, not only what they're feeling, but just little looks from them and the little details. I just absolutely love. I can just so picture it as a movie, which Wicked Lovely is supposed to become a movie, and I hope that um, everyone goes and sees them and starts reading these books, because to me, I've been obsessed with these fairies. I am getting the same experience from reading the Wicked, Wicked Lovely series as I did when I read Twilight. So, and I told you guys when I did Ink Exchange review that the fairy named Neil would give Edward Cullen a run for his money. And if you guys have seen any of my other videos, I am Team Edward all the way. Um, I love Edward Cullen, the character Edward Cullen in the Twilight series books. And I have made my final decision after reading this. And also, this is the soft copy. And the great thing about if you go get the soft copy of Fragile Eternity, um, there's a little short story that Melissa Marr wrote. And it's actually in the back of this book. And I've read it too, and it's more of a direct sequel to um, Ink Exchange, which is more focused on Neil, the one I'm in love with. And after reading Stopping Time, I have now made my decision that if I had to choose between Edward Cullen and Neil from the Wicked Lovely series, I would totally totally hands down pick Neil. So as much as I love Edward Cullen, I would pick Neil. I'm telling you guys, if you read Twilight and you loved Twilight and you couldn't stop thinking about the characters after you read it and, and couldn't stop and really loved the characters and couldn't stop thinking about the story, this Wicked Lovely series does the exact same thing. Um, Melissa Marr just makes you fall in love with the characters. The stories are awesome. They're like really detailed. There's so much to the fairy world that you get to know. And I'm now reading um, Radiant Shadows, which is number four. And it's from another girl's perspective that's been in the story. And um, it, it's just doing the same thing, like where there's so much more to the world. Every book answers more and more questions and you get to know more and more things from the book how the um, I'm my favorite is the dark court and how all that works it's just amazing what she's created I love it um, here's the little short story it's called stopping time and it's that thick that is the whole story there and I wish there was more to it but it was in these few pages it was awesome. You, Melissa, I, I just, like I said, I love how she writes, and she actually didn't really have to write anymore to get the point across about um, Neil and Ariel 
and Leslie, and it, it was just awesome. So you are missing out if you don't go read these books. Book number one, Wicked Lovely. Two is Ink Exchange. Three is Fragile Eternity. And then four is Radiant Shadows. And that's where I'm at in Radiant Shadows right now. And like I said, I'm loving that one too. And then she has The Darkest Mercy. I think that's what it's called. Darkest Mercy um, is coming out, I think, next year. And I think it, that might be the final book in the series. So but I'm not totally positive. But I know Melissa Marr is really pumped about the movie from what um, I've heard her say about it. So I'm really super excited. So please go read the books. Go see the movie so we can get all of them made like Harry Potter and Twilight. And that would be totally awesome. So you guys, I guess I'll see you next um, review um, when I'm going to be reviewing The Goose Girl by Shannon Hale. So bye guys. Happy reading. Ten p.m. to four, and I came to hit the floor. Thought you knew before, but if you don't, then now you know. 